Okay, welcome to our Unit on Rocks, Day 2. Uh, our topic for today is clastic sedimentary rock. Clastic sedimentary rocks are the most common type of sedimentary rock. So if you think of sand, silt, pebbles, boulders, these are all types of clastic sedimentary rock. Today, objectives, Day 2 of 3, you're going to learn about weathering erosion, deposition, stratification, and how it affects rocks. And then you're going to learn about clastic sedimentary rocks and the conditions under which they formed. Here we go. So, go ahead and pause this if you need more time. I'm going to move on here. All right, for your quick write, what are some types of sediment you're familiar with? How do you think sediment forms? How do you think sediment moves? Okay, pause this while you write down your quick write, please. Okay, in order for us to learn about sedimentary rocks, we need to first learn about some concepts here, like weathering, erosion, deposition, and stratification. Okay, so weathering is the breaking down of rock into smaller pieces by water, wind, and gravity. So water, wind, and rain, and rivers, and everything, all these forces are breaking down into, breaking rock into smaller pieces over time. Okay, then... Erosion is the removal and transport of rocks by water, wind, and gravity, okay? So, for example, this river here is moving sediment or sand here, okay? So, or gravity here, rocks are falling down the side of a mountain. So that's erosion, all right? And then we get deposition here, okay? As sediment, sand, and silt moves down this hill, it gets deposited. Okay, so it's the dropping and accumulation of rock in flat places, like the bottom of a lake, the bottom of an ocean. Okay, so sediment piles up here. Well, as it piles up, it makes what we call stratification, or the layering of sediment. And these layers form flat, okay, over time. So as we get deposition, we get stratification, the layering of sediment. So we get sediments that are deposited here, and over time they make layers with these old layers down here and younger layers up here. Okay, so we go from old to young. So a little review. Erosion is the removal and transport of rocks by water, wind, and gravity. Deposition is the dropping and accumulation of sediment, okay, over time. And... As these sediments get deposited, they make layers or stratification, okay? Or strata, if you will. Some people call them strata, for short. The layering of sediment, okay? So for your notes, what is weathering, erosion, deposition, and stratification, okay? Remember, the question goes on the left-hand side in the question section. Everything under the question goes on the right-hand side, okay? So weathering, breaking down of rock. All this goes on your right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete these blanks here. Okay, And then write these words in your answer bank up above and in your notes as well. Go ahead and pause this. I'm going to move on. Okay, sediments. Sediments are simply small, weathered, and eroded. Not always small, though, but for the most part, weathered and eroded, broken down pieces of rock and organic material. So small, weathered, and eroded, broken down pieces of rock and organic material. So sediments could be organic. Organic means things of life, like pieces of leaves, plants, um, twigs, branches, whatever. Seashells. If you go to a white sand beach in tropical places... Sand is mixed in with shells, broken down seashells. So, sediments are classified by their size. Sand, silt, pebbles, plants, and shells are all examples of types of sediment. Sediments are classified by their size. So, we have bigger things here, okay, like pebbles, okay. We get smaller things like sand, getting smaller, right? And then even smaller is silt, and if we go even finer, smaller things like clay, clay would be invisible at this scale because clay particles are so small, they're almost like dust particles and they stick together, making clay, okay? And clay is nice because it doesn't let water pass through it. That's how fine-grained those particles are. 
All right, sediment's everywhere. It's even on the moon, okay? When we left our footprint on the moon, when we visited it in the Apollo missions, okay, that footprint is still there. Think about it. There's no wind or water. So what is making the sediment? What could be making the sediment? Well, the answer is in these craters, okay? We learned about bombardment here, okay? When things smash into each other, it's another way we can erode something or weather something is breaking rock down by meteorite collisions, okay? When the rocks smash into each other, they break up into these small little fine pieces of sediment on the moon, okay? Here we go. And we call that sediment, excuse me, regolith. All right. So what are sediments? Once again, the question goes in the question section on the left-hand side. Your answer over here, all this material here, it goes on the right-hand side. Use the words in the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence here. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, sedimentary rocks, clastic. Now that we have broken down rock into sediment, sand here, we have a pile of sand, we can make what's called sandstone. Clastic sedimentary rock forms through deposition, stratification, and lithification process. Lithification literally means to make rock, okay? To lithify. So, to lithify means to make rock. So, the lithification process involves compacting and cementing sediment here. So, if I compact and I cement sand, I will make a rock called sandstone, okay? So, if I compact and cement gravel here, I make a rock called conglomerate. If I compact and cement sand, I make, you guessed it, sandstone. And if I compact and I cement silt, which is just smaller grains, okay, sediment, if I compact and cement silt, you guessed it, silt stone. It's smoother, right? Sandstone has a gritty texture. It feels like sandpaper. Siltstone is smoother, finer grained. And if I smush together and compact and cement clay particles, I can make a rock called shale, which is even smoother and finer grained. Okay, so we go from pebbles going down to the finer grained sediment here. So conglomerate, sandstone, siltstone, and shale. And they all form from the compaction and cementation of sediment. Okay, so what are plastic sedimentary rocks? Okay, once again, write the question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use your answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence. Go ahead and pause this. Make sure you're writing your examples down, please. I'm going to ask you, what is a plastic sedimentary rock? Sandstone, conglomerate, siltstone. Okay, go ahead and move on. Excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and move on, so pause this. All right, lithification. How does sediment become sedimentary rock? In other words, how does sand become sandstone? Through lithification, right? Lithification is the process that involves compaction and cementation of sediment. Okay? Compaction occurs when the layers of sediment compress the rock below it. Yeah, it's kind of like your trash can, right? The top trash is pushing down on the bottom parts of your trash can. So the top layers are pushing down on the bottom layers, smushing it together okay well it's kind of like if you step on your trash right you're going to compact it you're going to compress it okay well then we get cementation cementation is when sediments are glued together by minerals deposited between them so let's say over time water passes through sand in between sand particles here and as water passes through these sand grains so excuse me there's compaction and as water passes through these sand grains we get cementation these the water leaves behind minerals that glue the sand together okay so and these minerals get deposited or left behind as they pass as water passes through these sand grains and it glues them together okay so we get compaction the smushing of layers and cementation okay where sediments are glued together by minerals getting deposited between the sand okay so, down here, these layers down here are getting compacted, okay? All right, so for your notes, what is, okay, 
lithification? That is the question. Your answer is right here. Okay. Go ahead and pause this. I'm going to move on. Okay. Summarize. You can always do your own. Either way, for 20 easy points, you can draw this wonderful diagram. What is 1? What's happening here at 1? What's happening here at 2? What's happening here at 3? And what's happening here at 4? Draw it, please. And fill these terms in. You will receive no credit for just drawing it. You need the terms. Okay? Go ahead and pause this. Congratulations. You're done with day 2 of the Rock Notes. And have a great evening. And like I said, pause it. And good night.